Interpreter Transports, this time on Metasploit Minute. Metasploit Minute is brought to you by viewers like you. If you get value from this show and can spare even a dollar, please consider contributing at metasploitminute.com. Welcome to Metasploit Minute, the breakdown on breaking in. I'm your host, Rob Fuller, but you can call me Movix. Today we're going to be going over Metasploit or Meterpreter transports. The transports are, are pretty cool functionality where you get to add new transports onto current sessions. Now most people don't know about this functionality because you stand by standard you only use a single transport. So let's go into one of our sessions, session ses13, and hit transports or transport. And you can see that just like any other option inside of Metasploit, you can see all the ver available options just by typing the command. So transport list will actually show you the current transports. And you can see that I only have one transport listed here. It's port 9090, the com timeout, retry timeout, and all that stuff that we talked about on the last episode is per transport, okay? So if we add a new one, what's gonna happen is when that times out, we can actually move on to the next transport. This is really f awesome functionality because it can be used in a bunch of different creative ways. One, we can make it so that uh, if this port or this IP fails, we can move on to another one, specifically ports. Um, or you can set a different IP. So you can make it so that you have 13 different IPs on the, on the internet somewhere with handlers ongoing, and if for whatever reason your current sessions die because they block that IP, the, whoever the target is for your, your valid ethical pen test, right? Uh, then it'll move on to the next one, and then to the next one, to the next one, as, and you, you play that uh, game of whack-a-mole on the incident response side. All right, so what we're gonna do is actually add a new transport. And for, for fun, you can add all kinds of different transports, reverse TCP, reverse HTTP, HTTPS, and this is particularly on um, the Windows side. So let's add a transport, and let's make it, hmm, let's make it reverse HTTP this time. Reverse HTTP. We're gonna set our L host, and this L host is any other IP or DNS name on the internet that you want one that you can actually set up an interpreter session on, or handler, I'm sorry, on. All right, so 16.102.1, and we're gonna set our port to 8443, and we're gonna set that up in a second. All right, what else can we set here? We can set our, our uh, let's see, our retry total time, or RT, down to, because we're doing this for a demo, we kind of want to shorten this down so that it retries only for not a full hour because we don't want to sit around here and wait for an hour, down to probably around 300, uh, let's make it 120 seconds, so two minutes. All right, let's see if this works. Add, boom, transport list, and it's there. You can see that the URI for this is pretty long. This is a randomized URI. Now we could have set the URI up here, the URL somewhere around here, yeah, custom URI right there. Um, but we're not going to, we, so we've got this set up. Now we, what we have to do is set up an actual handler, okay? So background, use exploit multi-handler. Set up the same options, so set payload to Windows, oops, ooh, Windows, interpreter, reverse t HTTP, and I'm doing this out of order. You can do this in any format you want. If you want to set up your handler first, as long as your session's good, you can set up new transports however you wish. You can set your handlers later on if you wish to. So L host 172.16.102.1. L port, and that was 8443, right? Yep, 8443. Show options, we always want to show options as we go. And one of the cool things about this is that when I take or give Metasploit training, I get to find out all kinds of new options that people just either stumble upon or have used in the past. And one of those options that we just figured out in Pen Test with Hack 5 that we just got done doing, and by the time this airs, this is gonna be a couple weeks after that, 
Um, and you guys should come out definitely if you get a chance on the next pen test with Hack5. Um, is that you can just type options. I am so ingrained to do show options, but options does the exact same thing. So exploit dash J, get that handler going. Now you see that I didn't get any session in because that transport, the previous transport is still very much active. All right, so let's go back into that session that we just came out of. What was it? Do to do 13. Sessions dash I 13. Transport list. All right, what we're going to do, we're going to cross our fingers and hope that we set up everything correctly. Transport next. Now, what this will do is kick over to the very next transport. And almost instantly, as soon as I hit next, because I have both handlers going, I got my session back. And what you can do with this is very, you can also do egress busting. So let's say I set up a bunch of handlers on TCP 30, uh, 22, 21, 3 to 389, you know, all those ports that are normally allowed of, out of corporate networks, and then I hit next and I make sure to set the retry total time to something less than an hour, and hopefully one will get out. And then I know that that's another port that I can get out of their network on. So let's go to sessions. See that we have sessions on 14. Awesome. So what we're going to do now is we're going to play a little trick. So transports list. Okay. Now our timeout on the HTTP is two minutes. Our timeout on the 9090 is 3600. And what we're going to have to do is transport next, get back over to that one to change it. Hopefully it comes back. So transport's 15. Transport uh, set timeout, just like we learned in the last, oops, I gotta interact with that stupid thing. 15 set timeouts. Ooh, typing is not my forte. Timeouts. Two. And we want to set the retry total timeouts down to 120. All right. Now if we set transports again, we can transport list again, we can see that now it's 120. So what I'm gonna do now is I'm gonna background jobs-v and I'm gonna kill my handler that's going on 9090. Uh-oh. What's gonna happen if I transport next now? What's gonna happen is that it's gonna try to get out on 9090 and fail for about two minutes. So we're gonna do a little bit of time-lapse photography in a second and push forward in that two minutes. Hit transport next. Ah, I got it back. Why did I get it back? Because it was already on 9090. So we gotta do transport next again. So 16, transport next. Now since we don't have the handler running, we're just gonna lose our session. And hopefully within two minutes, we'll get it back. All right, we got it back. After about um, two minutes of waiting, we got our session back and we have it back on our system. So the reason why we got it back is because after the 9090 failed for two minutes, it didn't see that it could connect anymore, so it switched the transports that it had. Again, you can add, I don't know if there's a maximum, it's probably around 255, but you're not probably not gonna get to that maximum very easily. You add all these different um, transports in and you can test things exactly like this. Now that we know that 9090 can't get out of their corporate network, we're gonna stick with 8443. One of the things that I will note on this is that transports do not stay with that binary that you have. Just like timeouts, if your binary for persistence runs whenever a user logs in or whatever, every time that new session establishes, when they run the new binary, that's a completely new session. So all of your transports go away. So I just don't want you guys to get confused when when you get a new session coming in after someone reboots a box and all of your transports disappear. Because I know that that's one of the things that I felt uh, about when, when it did it to me. Anyways, just want to say, if you have any uh, feedback for anything that we've done so far on the show, please email msf at hack5.org and stay tuned to Metasploit Minute uh, for more shows like these. Huge thanks to everyone who's supporting the show. Your support, you can support us directly at 
patreon.com slash M-U-B-I-X or Mubix. Every dollar goes towards making the show just for you, and I'm really grateful. So until next time, I'm Mubix, and I'll be hacking till the cows come home. I don't know if you saw it in my mouth, but it, Hack 5 was coming out. <laughs> you like, because, <laughs> yeah, I don't know if you can see yeah, it or not. Go, it was like, ah, Metasploit Minute. <laughs> give it a shot.